In this video we are going to be covering the exploded assembly sheet for the T9 Automoblocks project and you'll notice some added information on this sheet for example the balloons which are those little arrows with the circles and the numbers in them coming off of each part which is identifying <clears throat> excuse me what is what you'll also notice up in the top right corner we have a parts list so I'm going to show you how to bring that in and also how to edit that parts list and include material mass and volume so let's go ahead and get started and the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and double click on your exploded assembly page over here so if you're in the title page go into the exploded assembly and I did notice a mistake our scale should not be one to one for this this is actually going to be one to two so let's expand that exploded assembly let's go into the title block so I'm going to expand that double click on that field text and the scale of that one should be one to two so that was a quick fix and then let's bring in our exploded assembly I'm gonna go base I'm gonna open an existing file there and then you're going to have to drop this down navigate to the share drive go into your T9 folder and go get your exploded assembly so click on that hit open and again we're going to be doing a one half or a one to two and then say okay and i'm going to move this over here just for the time being we might have to move it a little bit more later and the other thing is i want that shaded so to get back into that i'm just going to double click on the red box and turn on shaded for my style say okay now i got that uh, let's do the parts list and then we'll do, do the balloons last. So to bring in a parts list, you're going to go to annotate. And then over here on the table panel, there's a parts list button you're going to click. And then I'm going to click on this view of my exploded assembly. So I'm going to left click that. And then I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to now this is the parts list but it wants you to place it where you want it to go so I'm gonna to snap to the upper right corner of the border right here I'm gonna click right there left click and then now we have a parts list but the problem is um, it's got some misinformation some information that I don't need and some information that I'm missing and you'll also notice that it's just indicating the sub assemblies it's not indicating all the other parts like you saw in this one so we're going to do some adjustments to that parts list. So to allow us to see all the other parts, we need to first hover over this parts list and right click and go to bill of materials. When you're in there, you're going to left click on structured right here and then right click it and go to view properties. What I need you to make sure of is that the level is set to all levels so make sure that that is set up and then say OK and then click done okay we're not quite there yet we're almost there it was just a little bit of setup work now again I'm going to right click on the parts list and go to edit parts list then I am going to go ahead and hit the plus sign for my uh, passenger subassembly the plus sign for my front subassembly and the plus sign for my bed subassembly and by doing that it will then in a minute add that information over here but I want to go ahead and insert the other columns that I need and the three that we're missing is material mass and volume and I don't want description so what I'm going to do first is left click on the word description here and then right click and go to column chooser so over here are the options that we can bring into our parts list and on the right hand side is what we currently have inside of the parts list so I'm gonna click on description and I want to remove that from my parts list and then I'm gonna scroll down I'm gonna find material I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to add it then I'm gonna click on mass and I'm gonna add that and then finally I'm also gonna add in the volume and again, all that information is going to be pulled from the various parts of my assembly or exploded assembly. So that's the uh, items that you should have in the order that it should be in. 
Now, if yours was in the wrong order, you can move stuff up or down by clicking these buttons. I'm going to click OK. You'll notice that that has now updated. Now, if you see NA for any parts, like, for example, the axle, it says NA for the mass, NA for the volume, NA for the material. If you see NA, what that means is that you never updated your eye properties for that part. So what you'll have to do is first we'll click OK. You know, and I'll double check this. If I see any NAs, then I need to find that part and go open it, update my eye properties, do a save, and then come in back in here and you should see it automatic automatically populate that information. Alright, so once you get that all set up, the problem is the table is gigantic. So what we're going to first do is kind of uh, bring down these columns in the, uh, the size that they are. So I'm going to click on this and drag the item column in just enough so that the numbers fit. I'm going to do the same thing for the quantity. I'm going to drag that in. And then I want to try and get each one of these rows to single line text. What does that mean? Like right now I got two lines of text. I just want it to be single. So I'm going to, can I click and drag this this way? Yes. There we go. So just like that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing there. And... I'm still running into my model a little bit, so I guess I'm not going to be able to do the single line text. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So that should do it right there. And again, I'm, I'm just trying to slim that down so it doesn't run into my exploded assembly over here. And that is good for the parts list. The next thing that we need to do is the balloons. So you have these balloons coming off indicating what part is what. So for example, 1.5, if I reference that in the parts list, 1.5, I need one of them. The quantity is one. The name of it is the windshield. The material is ABS plastic, the mass, and the volume. So that is the balloons referencing the item number. And I just remembered we forgot to change this um, right here. So we're going to go back one step. That should not say part number, that should say part name. So I'm going to right click again and go to edit parts list. I'm going to click on part number and then right click and choose format column. And I'm going to change that instead of part number to part name, make sure it's all caps. Say OK. Say OK again and then that will be adjusted. Uh, and if you haven't saved, go ahead and do a quick save again. If you ever get this popping up, always say yes to all, say OK. And let's go ahead and add some balloons. So you're going to go to the annotate ribbon. And then over here on the far right, you have a balloon tool. Now, there's a few things I want to tell you when adding balloons. Number one, when you first click on the balloon, where you click your mouse is where it's going to add the corner of the arrow. That's where it's going to touch. You don't want to be clicking in the middle of a part like this because then the arrow is going right into the middle of the part. So I'm going to hit escape. When you're adding a balloon, you should always add to the edge of a part. So like that. And then some other standards that you should do. You should never do a balloon straight vertical or straight horizontal. It should always be at a nice angle, maybe like here, or maybe kind of like this. For this one, I would probably go up a little bit. And then I'll left click, and then now we call something, and now we're going to add something called, I call it the leg. You're going to add a little leg for it, and I want to make sure that that leg is also, I always try and keep it horizontal. I don't want it angled like this, so I'll keep that nice and horizontal like that. I'll left click, and then I'll right click and continue you have to right click continue otherwise it won't work so let me just run through that one more time because there's a few clicks so balloon left click the edge of a part get a nice angle going typically around like a 45 ish left click to add the angle of it and then now we're going to add the leg so I'm going to left click to add that and then I'm going to right click continue now, some other things you want to avoid is balloons going through different paths of your exploded assembly. 
So if I go to this one next, I should not do this. Okay, I should not do this or this, right? You want it just about here maybe, and then you can add that one. So you want to avoid balloons crossing each other, going through parts, going into anything else. You want to keep it nice and neat, good, nice angles, and you're always clicking the edge of the part, not the middle of it, not the um, inside. So you can kind of see my example here. You kind of use that as a guide to complete yours. So go ahead and add in all your balloons for all your parts, and that'll be it for the exploded assembly page.